Hello, board, Dr. Cleveland. Um, I've got a construction update, and I know I have a tendency to go pretty fast, so if you guys have any questions, <laughs> stop me and ask me. Um, Did they tell you to tell say that? Were you told to say that? Dr. Smith told me to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever Dr. Smith says, here. I do. I do whatever she says. <laughs> Smart man. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so at Springdale High School, um, <laughs> we're looking back to the north. Um, they've actually got some brick on the on the block, so below all that brick is going to be the auxiliary gym, and they'll start that soon. So they are making a lot of progress. Um, over to the left side of that, that's the elevator shaft. Um, so. Well, by their day, that's all filled in. Yeah, these pictures are a few days old. Um, I was in training last week, so Alan took these pictures. So they made a lot of progress since then, even with the, the bad weather. Um, but they are, they are making a lot of progress. The contractor that's doing the block is, is really good. Um, you know, they, they make a lot of progress once they get all their equipment set up. Uh, so this is a view on the inside. Um, that slab is uh, some of the concession stand and the locker rooms. So where all those rebar are, that's where block will go. They'll, they'll tie those walls into that slab. So um, they're supposed to start putting up some of the steel structure next week. Um, so you'll, you'll see a lot of progress on this. With the, so with a lot the, of that arriving today in the rain. Yeah, uh -huh. that whole parking lot is just full of yeah. stuff. Yeah, we've received all the uh, brick for the building. I mean, that you can see how, how much um, that parking lot's filling up with just supplies. Um, also, we do have um, a lot of electric um, hardware and lights and everything for these jobs already secured. Um, some of them's in storage, some of them's on site in storage, some's off site in storage. Um, we ordered it early um, so we could have it here, and then when we need it, we'll have it. We don't have to um, rely on somebody else to, to get it to us. We've, we've got it on hand. Uh, that's just a different view uh, of that building. So, like I said, over there, they're making a lot of progress at Springdale High. Um, th this is just more slabs that are getting ready to start getting poured. So, so these slabs, they'll, they'll start like at 2 a.m. in the morning, and they'll do a full pour on these. So uh, when, once they get all the infrastructure in and start pouring the concrete, it, it goes pretty quick. Um, Central Junior High, um, they do have some slabs poured, and that's to the south of the building. Um, so, so that's the southwest wing. Um, that's, that's a closer view of it. Th this area, they will start pouring that this week. So those are pier holes in the, in the middle. Those will be um, for structural steel. It'll get a different type of concrete. Um, this is a different view, so you can see in the, in the middle, there's kind of a ramp that goes up. There's two elevations to this building um, because we kept part of the existing building and the elevation was different to the south of there. There will be a little bit of a, a, a ramp to get into the, that area. So th this will also be poured um, probably within the next two weeks. They'll have all everything that's graveled will have concrete on it. Um, at Southwest, this is the, uh, the weight room. They've got it, um, the ice and water shield on the roof. They've actually, this is the interior. It's, since these pictures have been taken, it's already insulated. Um, so th they're making a lot of progress on that because now it, it's dried in. This is at Southwest. They've got a lot of the slab board and they're actually putting steel up. Um, so they left a section out of that steel that's between the main gym and the new structure just to get that crane in so they could set that steel. Once they get that steel set and it's self-supporting, then they'll, they'll move the crane and, and add in the, the steel structure 
to attach to that main gym. And then they're just gonna keep coming wet, or, uh, east with the steel. So that one, you know, they have made a lot of progress in the last couple of weeks. Um, when you start putting the steel up, you can really see it because you don't have to be right up on the job site to see it. You can see it from the, from the streets, kind of like Springdale High School. I mean, you can, you can see it from a, a good distance now. That's a, a closer view of the steel. Um, so that's, that's about it for construction. Um, we have got all the HVAC units on at um, Joe Kelly and Helen Tyson. Um, we've added air and heat to the uh, Sonora Middle School and Helstern gyms. So those units are all set. Joe Kelly and, and Helen Tyson has a few things just to finish up, some of the duct work and just little things, but for the most part, those projects are complete and that they will 100% complete those over Christmas break. How about um, so George Elementary, um, we should have 100% drawings from CORE by the end of this month. And um, we did uh, finalize the insurance uh, on the tornado damage and the, and the district hail damage. So, I mean, if you remember after the tornado, we had that hail storm and um, we had a lot of schools, the roofs got damaged and we had to assess every roof in the district. Um, we got a list. It, it's a pretty extensive list of, of damage. So. so we got two claims right now, one for the tornado and one for hell. Mm -hmm. for either one yet? Yes, we've been paid. Uh, we, we were given a million and a half in advance for the tornado. And then there, I just signed off for them to send us another, I think, 680000 mm -hmm. And then they'll have a residual of 300 and something thousand the work's done. So about two and a half million altogether. Yes. So, um, and that was for the gym and the damage to the roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. That's to repair all of the existing building and, and replace that gym. We're going to use that money plus the money that we were going to use to do a media center <coughs> and a complete remodel. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Um, the, the hail damage we're having to, um, get ready to put our RFQs out to get those repaired. So that should go out in January. And we've already made temporary patches on all the damage. Um, it, as soon as it happened, we started making those repairs. So we're not in a rush to, to replace anything. So we're gonna take our time, get the RFQs out, get the best price we can, and then we'll schedule a time for the repairs to be made because you know we've got summer coming up pretty quick. And, um, and we have a lot of summer schools this summer also. So we're gonna try to work around all the schedules and get those repairs finalized. Is there any, anything? So I've got about 20 questions. Okay, perfect. I can answer questions <laughs> <said> all night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do have a couple comments. One of them's kind of telling on myself. Um, so I showed up here at the district office a couple, three weeks ago. You know, I usually make about 50% of our weekly activities as board members, so I'm kind of, I was trying to raise the performance level up a little bit, and I showed up here for a lunch and learn, didn't really check my calendar, so I was the only one here to lunch <laughs> and learn by myself, so I met Damon in the parking lot that day, and he said, well, come on, go over to the bus depot, and they're having Thanksgiving lunch over there. Yeah. So I got to spend about 30 minutes. I got the Kevin Conkin tour of all the facilities and all the things they've done to make the place look better. Yeah. I was completely impressed. And uh, it's probably one of the best 30 minutes I've spent Good. doing something with the schools in, in a long time. So I just want to tell you, appreciate that. Yeah. And still, the best kept property improvement secret in Springdale is Helen Tyson Middle School, where you're filling in the ravine there. Yeah. It looks fantastic. So that's actually, we're saving money by doing that. And we're getting some flat, some flat land. <laughs> so um, that's, that's where all the field dirt's going from these projects. So. The truth is the guys at the maintenance department really like playing on bulldozers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're really, wanting, we're really wanting a little bigger one. Yeah. Oh. Well, big ask. Yeah. 
Yeah, here so we I've go. got to have kind of, uh, I'll run a little bit downtown, so I, I kind of choose an area of town that I always run by one of the schools. But I, that day I drove around all, where all the buses are and your main shop and everything, and it's just, everything is really in good order. And I, just, I like seeing that because it that, that shows who we are and mm -hmm. you know, people, all these building improvements that the long term lasting impact on the commu community, how that's going to be perceived 10 years from now. I mean, that's, that's great. Chairman does a good job. Everyone in the departments, all of them, do a great job. Yep. All right. Thanks.